I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you a test question on trigonometric identities. This question is for my student Joseph, and I hope the strategies which we have learned earlier will help us to simplify or prove this particular identity. The question here is to prove tan x sin x divided by tan x plus sin x equals to tan x minus sin x divided by tan x sin x. So that's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now we'll do it from the very basics. Let's start from the left side. Both similar, both expressions are kind of similar. You could start from left side or right side in this particular case. x sine x divided by tan x plus sine x. So what we can do here is that we can write tan x as sine over cos. So, so what I'll do here is this tan x, I'll write this as sine x over cos x. Now we have sine x here, so I'm just writing sine x divided by, we have tan x plus sine x here. So, so I'll write this tan x as, we'll write this in brackets, sine x over cos x plus sine x, correct? So I've kind of split this just to make things simpler. I do not want to give you layers of fractions to complicate, right? So, so it is like tan x times sine x and tan x is being written as sine x over cos x. So we're left with sine x divided by all this, sine x divided by all this, tan x is being replaced by sine x over cos x. So that is our first step, right? So this left side could now be written as sine x times sine x is sine square x. Is it okay? Sine square x. And in the denominator, if I expand cos x times sine x over cos x, cos x cos x cancels. So we are left with sine x plus cos x times sine x gives us cos x sine x. Do you see that? So it becomes much, much simpler if you write like this. Now, we can always take sine x common in the denominator. Now, since we are looking for something minus something in the top, I will replace sine square x as 1 minus cos square x. This is a very strategic step. And in the denominator, I can take sine x common, so I get sine x times 1 plus cos x. Perfect. Now, 1 plus cos x can be cancelled because there's a factor here in the numerator. It is difference of squares. So let's write the numerator as 1 plus cos x times 1 minus cos x denominator for us is sine x times 1 plus cos x. So now you can see that 1 plus cos x cancels out. So what we get here is 1 minus cos x over sine x. So that is the left side. Now to get tan x what can we do? We need tan x in the denominator also. Now see the strategy which we'll apply to solve this further. Now I'm continuing with my left side, okay? I'm not going to the right side. From the left side directly, I'll get my solution. So what I'll do here is I'll just copy this first. So, so the left side for us is equal to, we'll just copy this, 1 minus cos x over sine x, right? So I just copied this. Now this is what we need. So the idea is, when you start from one side, keep an eye on the other side. What do we need? We need tan x to be incorporated here. So we could multiply and divide by tan x. Do you see that? Now if you do that, what do you get? You get tan x times 1, which is tan x, minus cos x times tan x, 
cos x times tan x. That's the numerator. And denominator is tan x times sin x, right? So we could write this as tan x times sin x. So we got the denominator part. Numerator, cos x times tan x. That is sin x, right? So let me add a step here. Cos x, tan is sin x over cos x. Is it okay? Divided by tan x times sin x. Now this cos x, cos x cancels out. And we get what we really need, which is tan x minus sin x over tan x sin x. Is it okay? So that is our right side. So we have proved that left side is equals to right side and therefore this is an identity which will be true for all values of x except for few restrictions which will make denominator as zero. So at times you may have to write down those restrictions also, right? So in this case, x cannot be zero is one of those restrictions. Is it okay? The other one could be that this cannot be zero. Is it okay? So find your restrictions. Let this be a question. State restrictions. That could be a part of question at times when you prove identities. Well, since in this case we do not have, I'm really not elaborating on that. But I hope these steps are clear to you. So you could actually solve this identity using this method. Probably this is the shortest way of doing it. You could also use some methods which we learned earlier. In one of my videos, I showed that this portion, tan x plus sin x, could be written as tan x times 1 plus cos x. Now, you could use this strategy also to prove this identity in lesser number of steps, right? That reduces a lot of work. Because if I replace tan x plus sin x by tan x times 1 plus cos x, then tan and tan cancel out and we get sin x over 1 plus cos x. This term, very fast. And that helps to prove this identity in lesser number of steps. So, so that is how few identities which I've done in this series, they are kind of related and you could follow different methods to prove an identity. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope with this you can explore and understand how to prove trigonometric identities. Feel free to post questions, share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.